Welcome to the Stanford Lee Show. This week, the coldest winter. Hey everyone, I'm glad you can be here. And it's really special this holiday because uh, we're blessed with having really two holidays that align on the calendar. So somehow these calendars came together and we're blessed this year with Hanukkah and Christmas. So starting on the 18th, you can celebrate Hanukkah for eight days all the way up to Christmas. And uh, you know, in this household, it's really great. So we kind of like both holidays and uh, I wanted to, remember like uh, I have some good memories of uh, holidays where it snowed and I think it kind of brings people together um, when there's weather and uh, it just kind of you know makes it special uh, something about uh, snow during the holidays or uh, you know you kind of gather inside together as family and enjoy the warmth and company uh, of those around you and uh, I have some good memories, and I'll tell you about uh, the coldest winter. It started in the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah, I know, it's uh, uh, kind of a uh, warmer climate, but uh, think of being in Cancun and we take an excursion to Tulum, and it's just beautiful there. We were looking at uh, Mesoamerican ruins, and it was just really incredible. And uh, then you can go and walk down to the beach, I was kind of absorbed in this, just mesmerized by it. And uh, we get a phone call from back in Georgia. And uh, it was one of these years where it just uh, poured down snow and uh, there was power lines and outages. You know, we're lucky enough here in the United States to uh, have gas, you know. We can actually, yeah, as you see in the background, uh, we can uh, warm the house. But the problem was, our son and uh, cousin did I did I name them? Let's cut that. My uh, <laughs> uh, I don't want to blame him for this. Uh, my son and uh, uh, the cousin couldn't figure out how to start the heater. It's just like uh, wow, I've never seen one of these things, you know. And uh, we were getting like a phone call while we were out there uh, walking around the sunshine. It was about uh, 90 or 100 degrees, and uh, everybody was freezing back home in Georgia because. Uh, uh, the electric went out, you know, it, it gets on the power lines and I don't know, does something, I guess. But um, that outage lasted for a couple days and they were in desperation. You would have think somebody was uh, going to the hospital, but uh, uh, with the help of a neighbor, they were able to find it out, you know, figure out how to actually get the heat going. And uh, that was just kind of crazy because uh, you can be uh, in different places in the world and uh, you know, just kind of, you know, firsthand see how, you know, we're just living in different realities. I mean, you know, right now people are, you know, in the sunshine and the beach somewhere, and uh, you know, we're wherever we're at. You know, we're fortunate to, uh, you know, be able to enjoy that warmth and uh, company together. And I think it makes it kind of a traditional holiday uh, experiencing that. Even some of the hardships are you know, things that we remember later. You know, I do this as a music show and I start with, you know, whatever the inspiration is. So the challenge, uh, think of this challenge, I have to somehow combine holidays, like, you know, this coming together of uh, calendars and, uh, you know, things like that. And I really, uh, I really just made it simple. I just uh, picked uh, a couple of the simplest songs I could find. <laughs> and then I put something really weird in the middle of it. So it's kind of like uh, uh, this sandwich of Christmas and Hanukkah and then something really weird put in the middle of it. So, uh, and uh, what was weird that I put in the middle was uh, I was getting, uh, I didn't really study so much guitar with like uh, all these modes and scales. I mean, I know people that can tell me all about that and 
um, I can care less, but uh, when I got into studying saxophone and things like that, it was like, uh, wow, there's all these modes I can use and have to learn. And I don't know, I found it kind of useful. So uh, there's this scale that uh, in traditional Yiddish music, I guess you'd call it, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, uh, a fregish. Uh, jazz guys would just call it an altered uh, dominant Phrygian or something like that. It sounded really cool. I mean, it's like, uh, well, you'll hear it. It just, you know, it just sounds really cool. You know, when, I, when I'm like, uh, you know, joy to the world, dreidel, 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 and then this, you know, badass riff comes in. But it's actually traditional with, uh, you know, the kind of music to uh, tie in with Hanukkah and celebration. And now I would like to perform for you dreidel 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 and this uh, medley of songs for this special merging of holidays. I hope you enjoy. I have the middle dreidel I made it out of clay And when it's dry and ready Then dreidel I shall play Dreidel, dreidel, dreidel I made it out of clay And when it's dry and ready Then dreidel I shall play Na 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 I have the little dreidel I made it out of clay And when it's dry and ready then dreidel I shall play Dreidel, dreidel, dreidel I made it out of clay And when it's dry and ready Then dreidel I shall play Dreidel, dreidel, dreidel Dreidel, I shall play. Thanks, I had a great time and happy holidays, everyone. And I'll see you next time on the Stanford Lee Show.